All right, one of the things I've been asked about is how do you how do you decorate a bookshelf? And I think you can do it so many ways. I have learned some tips that I want to share with you. So first of all, when you do a bookshelf, and I've seen some really great pictures, you can paint a crazy color and the wall behind it, and it becomes its own unit. It becomes a statement piece all by itself. We've done ours in olive, which is what also does the rest of our paneling, but you can do really a really cool dark blue. There's all sorts of ideas. A lot of my law books I've kept because they're uniform in color. The other thing that we used to do is go to a lot of garage sales and people are getting rid of books because they just don't need them anymore. You get to benefit from that because you get cool groupings of books. They all match and they just look good as a collection. So, I mean, you can get collections of encyclopedias now. Nobody has an encyclopedia anymore. Another thing is, is arrange them according to height. Put hardbacks together, softbacks. You can do magazines. You can stack them this way. Another thing is bring in pictures of your family. Bring in bookends that are really super cool. I've even seen like someone using an architectural piece on a house, and they use that as a bookend. You can use anything you want. It kind of is to represent who you are as a family, things you've done, places you've gone. Take, for instance, this is from Richmond. I used to live in Richmond. Use anything that matters to you in your bookshelves. It becomes almost its own memorabilia place. Another thing I've seen is take a photo and you can actually hang them on the outside of the bookshelf. It just adds dimension front to back and it's just kind of a fun idea. Take some time on your bookshelves. Don't just line them up with books. It becomes a part of your room and actually a piece of furniture. So good luck.